How do you stay happy when you're not and everyone else relies you to be strong? I feel like what we just talked about kind of answers that question, but now let's add this. It is not your responsibility to be strong for other people. Your responsibility is to be strong for yourself. That's it. And I'm not saying you have to be happy. I'm not saying you have to be all over the place exuberant. You have to be strong. I'm, I'm a pitiful mess right now. Depressed as shit. But I'm trying my best to be strong for me. For me. That's it. That's the way I look at it. I'm being strong for me. Because by me focusing on me, they're going to be strong too. That makes me become strong for them. If I think that I have to be strong for them, well then now there's no reinforcement except for guilt. Now I'm going to feel guilty by not feeling good enough for them. Now I have no worth, now I feel like shit, and now I want to kill myself. It's that small switch of a thought is what makes it different. Okay, and another way you can think about this too is like, say in a conversation, um, this is like a relationship thing, right? So, I'm depressed, I wake up, I can't get up. I don't want to get up, I don't want to go to work, I don't want to do anything, I want to lay in bed. And it's hard for me to get up sometimes. But I do, obviously, right? So the day goes on, and now I'm just feeling depressed, and now my wife asks me a bunch of questions, uh, a couple other things, or things to do, right? And now it's packing on to my day where I already don't want to get up. Right? I don't want to get up, but now it feels like she's nagging me, and nagging me, and now my answers become short, angry, um, not impulsive, um... I don't know fucking... Why don't I know any words? Why can't I ever get it? Just harsh. Because I never applied that... Or never told her that was I felt depressed. Instead, I just... am using this emotion that I have stuck inside. So now everything that I do... Kind of just feels negative to her. And now I'm feeding her all this shitty energy. Versus what you, you have to do. Not what you should do. Because that's a judgment. What you have to do. What you can do is tell her first. And this has been helping me a lot. Nat, today I feel depressed. I don't feel like I could move. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about today. I just don't feel good at all. Like I want to kill something. And now I can have better conversations. So now from there I can say, I'm sorry if I don't really feel or seem enthusiastic about some of the things that you want to do today. I really feel depressed, but I'll do my best to try to get into whatever it is we do today. And that switches everything. By them, they don't need me to be strong for me to, to go on with the day. Now they realize, because I communicated, that I didn't feel good. That I, did, I feel sad. I feel depressed. And now their expectation of me maybe is not there anymore. And now they're more concerned than anything. And that's fine. They can be concerned. They don't have to worry too much. But now you don't have that guilt on top of you trying your best to do something that you probably don't have the power to. Being strong is very tough. Being strong all the time is even tougher. People have to understand and know that you are not superhuman. Even though some people want us to be. Even though we want to be ourselves. You're not. You're human. But switching the way you approach the questions or switching the way you approach communication is very important. All right? So if you want me to say it again, I'll summarize it. Tell the person that you're talking with or to or in relationship with how you feel before anything throughout the day. Just to reinforce, let them know that you're trying your best to feel better. But our problem is as strong men or women stubbornly do not want to express that feeling we don't want to feel less than or weaker than but by us doing so we're already creating more weakness we're already creating more less worth so i hope that answers your questions i hope that helps you in your communications of relationships or anyone else that's having relationship stuff if you're not feeling good make sure you tell your spouse 
loved one, whoever it is beforehand, how you feel. So the expectations of what they perceive you to be are now at least off. And now you guys can work together and find some type of compromise versus you holding it in. Because if you hold it in, that just develops to anger, right? Because remember, anger is not an emotion that just becomes anger. Anger is from something, whether it's stress, uh, mad, or no, uh, sad, uh, confusion, uh, just whatever. You're going to feel something before that and then it just builds and it becomes anger. It becomes a fire and you hold that fire and now someone's firing other stuff at you like, why don't you ever fucking do this? Now, why don't you ever fucking do that? You got, we got to do this today. You got to do this. <clears throat> now you explode because they didn't know how you felt because you never told them. If you're feeling sad, depressed and you're holding it in, now it's becoming anger and they're gonna, about to something and you go, listen, this is how I feel today. I feel angry. I feel sad. I feel, just do it. You'll feel how it feels so much better just to express it. And now you're not going to go, you're going to go, and they're going to say, cool, let's figure out something that we can do today, whether it's nothing or whether it's just a little bit. And that's relationship help. That's how I've learned that it helps us go through whatever it is that whirlwinds that I go through all the time. I really hope that helps. So I hope that that helps a lot. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming out today. Uh, it was a honest pleasure slash crying moments a lot. But I feel like a lot has happened here. I feel like a lot has happened in this episode for myself. I had a lot of self-reflection. I had a lot of questions that were great. And a lot of things that kind of just made sense to me. So thank you guys for the questions. And people think like the questions are stupid when you ask. Like, oh, I don't want to ask that question. It's stupid. I don't want to ask that question. It's stupid. No. Look what you did to me. Look what you guys did for me by asking me a question. A question that, a perfect question that brought me to where I needed to be. It's a question that I needed to ask that I probably wouldn't ask myself. So if you guys don't think questions are important, they're fucking important. Because if you feel that way, someone else feels that way. And just like we said, if you liberate yourself, we liberate others. Got it? Well then come back fucking next week and we'll do this shit, shall we? Thank you guys so much for coming out to Jersey to Vegas episode 12. This is Pete. If you haven't, make sure you go to my Patreon. It is there. It's patreon.com slash Jersey to Vegas, not Pete Isip. So my YouTube clip definitely had it fucked up. So I made sure I changed that. It is Jersey to Vegas. So find me there. Again, patreon.com slash Jersey to Vegas. Help support the channel. Help support this shit. And this is what we're going to do because we are the best. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate every being of your soul. And I'll see you guys next week. Let's do this bad boy go. Go.